Yo, what's happening, Cons Podcast episode 14? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Episode 14 coming at you live. You feel me? Um, yeah, this episode going to be about that Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder fight. You feel me? The second one, you know what I'm saying? The second one. You know what I mean? I told everybody the first time, when they first fought, how bad Deontay Wilder was. Now, let's just get into it. Right into it. You know what I'm saying? First of all, what's up? What's up to all the viewers? You know what I mean? Shout out to y'all for watching my last episode, 13, on the celebration of life with Kobe Bryant. You know what I mean? Um, Rest in peace to Kobe Bryant. Uh, Another thing I want to add about that video... um, they also had Alicia Keys coming there. She did Moonlight Sonata, did a solo, you know what I'm saying, on Moonlight Sonata. Um, it was dope. I guess that was one of Kobe's favorite songs, uh, Pieces, excuse me, Pieces uh, by uh, Beethoven. That's all the same. I put it on my videos if you ain't never heard it. Um, YouTube got a little, you could click certain little songs or whatnot to put in your videos. That's not violating copyrights, I guess, so. They got Moonlight Sonata as well. That's one of my top songs, you know what I mean, by Beethoven. It's definitely Moonlight Sonata. I guess it was Kobe's too. So he uh, learned how to play it for his wife so that he could play it for her or whatnot. But, yeah, that's what I forgot to add in the last one. But um, here was episode 14, though. This one is about, like I said, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. You know what I'm saying? Now, I've been following Deontay Wilder for a long time throughout his amateur career. Um... Throughout his amateur career, throughout uh, his whole come up, you know what I'm saying? I told a lot of niggas about Deontay Wilder when the nigga was coming up. Like, I told a lot of people about him. Like, the nigga was, I was hyped, you know what I'm saying? Like, the nigga was like 29, you know what I mean, fights and like 29 KOs, you feel me? So, I'm like, yo, this dude is serious. Like, he, you know what I mean? So, I looked, told a lot of niggas about him. Niggas looked out for him. And, I, I mean, I felt like he was going to get better. But, like, to me, everybody know me, you know what I'm saying? I used to box myself, you know what I mean? Um, I got time in the ring, you know what I'm saying? I have hours in the ring, you know what I mean? So, so I told people at first, you know what I'm saying, when Deontay Wilder was first coming up, like, he was an amateur, he was dope. But what he, he didn't really elevate his game, you know what I'm saying, when he became a pro. And, you know what I mean, he was winning off of sheer power. which is undoubtedly something that he got. He definitely has power. That's no doubt about that. But to, re- like, and I always said, you know what I'm saying, to remain champ, having power in boxing will get you a ring, get you a belt, I mean. You know what I'm saying? It'll get you a belt. But in order to keep that belt, it's just sheer power, right? It, that's not going to keep your belt. You know what I'm saying? Just sheer power alone is not going to keep a belt around your waist. You know what I mean? Somebody with that good IQ and that finesse and who's well-trained and who's been studying you, you know what I'm saying, going to come in there and show you that science. And that's exactly what happened when he fought Tyson Fury. You know what I'm saying? Tyson Fury went in there. He First of all, let's talk about the first fight. The first fight, they went all 12 rounds. You know what I mean? But mind you, all 12 rounds, Tyson Fury was giving it to Deontay Wilder. You know what I'm saying? He was popping that jab out there, popping that jab out. You know what I'm saying? Popping it out there, moving to the left, moving to the right, sticking him. You feel me? Pop, 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 sticking that jab. You know what I'm saying? Then he came with the one. He was coming with a few one-twos. You know what I mean? A few one-twos. He hit him with a few one-twos and all that. And Wilder wasn't really showing too much of defense. You know what I'm saying? He was the whole fight. He waited on that right hand. You know what I mean? Waited, 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 threw it, sloppy. Threw his balance off, the whole shit, waited on that right hand until he finally landed it and knocked Tyson Fury out. You know what I mean? But even then, Tyson wasn't down for the count. He hopped up. He knocked him down like, what, two times or something like that? But uh, And then that last time is the controversial time. They say they waited the time out, didn't start counting until way later. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? He got up. Um, so he got up. You know what I mean? And uh, they went all 12 rounds, and they 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 deemed it a draw. You know what I'm saying? Now, 
I don't think it was. A, I mean, the fact that they deemed it a draw and Wilder got two knockdowns, that just lets you know that Wilder was motherfucking losing. You know what I'm saying? And the knockdowns got him back up to a draw. You feel me? Because he was clearly, if it came out to a draw and you knocked the nigga down two times, that nigga that you knocked down was clearly whooping your motherfucking ass. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. So, it went 12 rounds. And mind you, this is Tyson Fury coming off a drought. He wasn't boxing for five years or something like that. This nigga was on cocaine. This nigga was drinking hella much. This nigga was depressed, popping hella pills. This motherfucker tried to kill himself. The whole shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what he was coming off of when he fought um, Deontay Wilder. You know what I mean? He was coming off of that binge. You know what I'm saying? And he still went 12 rounds with that nigga, man. That's, that, that, that showed me something. If it didn't show nobody else nothing, that definitely showed me something about your boy Tyson Fury. Um, even, even with his history, you know what I'm saying? The Klitschko brothers. Like, everybody, if you know boxing, everybody know the Klitschko. They, they was the king. He was the king of the heavyweight division for a long time. Tyson Fury, the nigga that dethroned that nigga. You know what I'm saying? People be, I don't know, people forgot who he was because he disappeared for five years. But Tyson Fury was somebody to be reckoned with. You know what I mean? I don't know what happened where he fell off the deep end, but he fell off the deep end. But he back. You know what I'm saying? He came back, came back with a vengeance. He said he was going to focus on boxing 100%. And that's what he did. You know what I'm saying? He did his homework on Fury and what they, they fought. That was The first fight was in December. You feel me? This is February. So two months. He did nothing but homework. He fired the coach, uh, one of the trainers who was training him. He fired him because he fired him because, get this, he said Wilder has so many holes in this game, you feel me, that y'all should have seen that, pointed that out to me. You didn't even see it. So, you fired. You feel me? I need a new, a new trainer. You know what I'm saying? So he fired him, got a new trainer. <coughs> and this trainer must have, this trainer, this trainer must have definitely showed him the business and showed him how, showed him what to do against a nigga like Wilder. Because he said he was going, you know, Fury said he was going to expose him. And he did just that. And I been said Wilder was exposed to me. I been said, man, give me six months of training. I go in there and knock Wilder the fuck out for real. You know what I'm saying? Nobody, you know, some people was believing me, some people didn't. You know what I'm saying? But yo, he got too many holes in this game, man. Like you throwing, you relying. First of all, you relying on one punch. You relying on that one punch. We talking, man. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, three minute rounds. You know what I'm saying? You're relying on one punch. That's not gonna get you nowhere. To somebody who has an IQ in the ring. You know what I mean? I would put Floyd up against Wilder. And I bet Floyd would fuck Wilder up. Simply because even though they such a difference in weight division. Floyd has IQ. You know what I'm saying? He'll get in there and find ways to fuck Wilder up. And without a doubt. Regardless of his length. Of his of his of how tall he is. That wouldn't even play a factor to somebody who got a mind, an uh, IQ in the ring versus somebody who don't really know what they're doing in the ring. You know what I'm saying? All you have is sheer power, man. That's not getting you anywhere in that ring. You know what I mean? Somebody's going to know how to dodge that and dance around that and move their footwork around that and hit you with angles you ain't never been hit with before. That's called the science. You know what I'm saying? So in this fight, Fury, he came at Wilder the whole time. I said, damn, look at Wilder. He backpedaled him the whole time. He had him backpedaling the whole time. I mean, Wilder was on defense. I mean, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up the whole time. I'm talking the whole fight. Meanwhile, Fury on him, pressing him with the jab, pressing him, pressing him, coming in with the hooks, pressing him with the jab. You know what I'm saying? Backing him up, pressuring him the whole time until what happened? Wilder gave in because you know why? He ain't got no IQ and he didn't know what the fuck to do being pressed like that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody he fought was afraid of his power and their strategy was to stay away from his power. That wasn't Tyson Fury's strategy coming in. You know what I'm saying? His fury was to come at him, show him your power ain't shit, my G. You know what I'm saying? 
And that's exactly what Tyson Fury showed him. Showed him his power was nothing. You know what I'm saying? Power don't mean shit when it compares to somebody who knows the science of that ring. Knows the in and outs of that ring. Know the footwork of that ring. Know where you at at all times. Know where you at when you're backing your opponent towards the ropes. All of that. You know what I'm saying? I've seen all of that. He closed the ring off for him. He wasn't allowing Wilder to circle, to move. None of that. That's pure IQ. That's pure science in that ring. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is, man. Like, you feel me? Uh, Fury, he landed 82 punches. Wilder landed, what, 34? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Fury threw 267. You know what I mean? Wilder threw 141 punches. Like, come on, man. You just, he just out. Fury had two knockdowns. Wilder had zero. You know what I'm saying? It's just too, it's like, yo, man. And Wilder's like, what? He, his record is like, 30, I mean, uh, 40, 40, either 40 and one now or 41 and one, something like that. You know what I'm saying? He's six, seven, six, seven. You feel me? Uh, I know he had 39 KOs out of 40 wins. I think it was 40. You know what I'm saying? But he got his first L, um, Saturday night. Um, Fury is, was 28, you know, he had 29 KOs. You know what I'm saying? Um, He's six nine, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Wilder definitely gained a, like about thirteen pounds or something from the last fight. Um, I don't know what that was about. If he was trying to gain some weight for Tyson Fury, I don't know. But Tyson Fury definitely was some like thirty some pounds heavier than him. So, and that's another thing that Tyson Fury did. Every time they grappled up, Tyson Fury was weighing him down, weighing him down, putting that body on him. You know what I'm saying? Putting that body on him. Shh. That's draining him. You know what I mean? I seen him. I, too, Deontay Wilder was he, he was drained, outboxed, and just out science, man. Like I mean, on Sunday, you know what I'm saying? It's just it just was obvious. Like it was obvious what I've been saying about Wilder. Tyson made it obvious uh, Saturday night. You know what I mean? Um, um, let's see. Uh, yeah, he backpedaled the whole fight. He looked for the right hand the whole time. Um, Every I talked about all of this, you know what I'm saying? Um, Fury dropped him. He dropped him in the third round. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then after that, Wilder's legs was wobbly. You know what I'm saying? That's when he came. That's when he came with the one-two and hit him from the side with a hook. You know what I'm saying? Hit him right in the temple. Bow. Ruptured his eardrum. Instantly, he was bleeding from his ear and all that. You know what I'm saying? Knocked him down. He got up. His knees was wobbly. Legs was all shaky. He never really recovered from that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, when you're hitting the temple, that shit fucks your whole game up. You can't. You don't recover too well from that. You need more than ten seconds to recover from getting hit in the temple like that, and being rocked. Then you stand back up. Your body is. Your body needs time to kind of gather itself, get the blood flowing back to the brain and all that, and it understands what happens and all that. Like. Seriously, it needs to process the shit. You know what I'm saying? And the more that it does not, the more incoherent you're going to be. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. And that's exactly what happened while his legs was wobbly when he hopped up. He didn't know what the fuck. Like, they look like spaghetti. You know what I'm saying? His legs was too wobbly when he came back up. And then in the fourth, he uh, he dropped Wilder again with a body shot. You know what I'm saying? He went up top. With a jab and came downstairs with the body shot. Bop! Hit him hard with a hook. You feel me? And dropped him. His knees went out after the body shot. He buckled down, had his had to do a standing eight count. You know what I'm saying? And um Then he just and Fury just kept attacking him. He kept coming at him, kept coming at him with the jab, kept fucking him up, kept hitting him in the catching him with one twos, catching him with a hook, going to the body, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Everything was beautiful that Tyson Fury was doing. I commend him. He deserved the belt. He deserved all accommodations, acc- whatever accolades, all of that. He deserved it all. The, from what he showed Sunday night, he said he was going to expose him, and he did just that. I don't know what he was doing. He said he wanted to taste his blood, so, you know, he did some crazy shit. He, you know, they was in a clinch, and he did some la 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 on his neck, lick, do lick, wilder blood, and all that, yo. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't know nothing about that, but hey, you feel me? It, when it comes to that IQ and that ring, though, he definitely did his thing with that. That's for sure. 
You know what I'm saying? It's like I said, man, he got exposed, man. You know what I'm saying? You cannot keep the belt if that's if your game is one dimensional. You know what I mean? His his game in that ring is definitely one dimensional. You know what I'm saying? They went um what seven rounds? You know what I'm saying? So they went to the seventh round, and Fury ended up having Wilder, just like I was saying earlier. He closed off that ring. You know what I'm me? Wilder a couple of times because remember Wilder's backpedaling the whole time. So a couple of times Wilder went off, backpedaled himself into the ropes. And then bounced himself right back forward to a punch. Like he did that shit a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? But that's IQ when you cause your opponent to do that. So he was clo- he closed the ring off. You know what I'm saying? Like a triangle. Zigzag. Like a zigzag back and forth like a triangle. And closing him off in that little triangle in the corner. You feel me? Eventually, that's what you're going to get your opponent to do. You know what I mean? So he got him in the corner. And then he just started giving it to him. Body shots. Bing. Made his guard go down. Then he went upstairs. Bink, bink. You feel me? Then he, then he was just looking on the defense, trying to look at him through his guard. Then, boom, hit him with a straight right through his guard. You know what I'm saying? And then he was banging him up in the corner. And his Wilder's corner threw that towel in, which was the smart thing to do if they care about it, care about their fighter. You feel me? Because he was sure he was already hurt. Um, his eardrum is already busted. You know what I'm saying? He definitely probably got a fractured jaw or something. I don't know. They said his jaw was extremely swollen. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know, man. He definitely just showed him the science, though. Uh, he showed him the science. That's all I can say. That's all I've been saying. You know what I'm saying? Doing the towel. Technical knockout. You know what I'm saying? That's the best way to beat somebody when you... I know. Hey, look. That's the best way to beat somebody. After, especially for a round two, a second fight, you know what I'm saying? You came back and you made your, you made the dude corner say, yo, stop whooping my fighter's ass, we're done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's crazy, you feel me? That's crazy, but that's what's up, though. That's what I'm saying, man. It's all about that science, man. And that's exactly what Wilder got showed, that science, you feel me? Without that science, you ain't shit in that ring, boy. That's a fact. It don't matter what how good you think you is with power, how much power you got. That shit don't mean nothing if you don't got the science down. Somebody that know that science gonna come in there and show you what, show you how hard it is and how it feel to really miss. You feel me? Somebody gonna show you what it's like when your moves, when your fuck ups are calculated to somebody's to somebody else's uh, plus. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? When somebody turns your fuck up to they plus. You feel me? That's where Wilder learned. You know what I'm saying? He just got exposed. And that's that's pretty much all that is to it. And Tyson Fury did his thing. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Tyson Fury. Shout out to Deontay Wilder. You know what I'm saying? You just need somebody to finesse your game, man. That's it. You know what I'm saying? You got so much potential. You tall. You got strength. You lengthy. You need to learn how to work that jab. You got all that length. You know what I'm saying? You don't pop that jab out. Yo, know, I ain't never seen you pop the jab out. You know what I'm saying? No more than 50 times in a fight. You're supposed to be popping that jab. You feel me? Setting up that right hand. You just will. You just will be, you know what I'm saying? Boxing the nigga and just come with a right hand. Wild and ugly. Like, come on, man. Get that shit out of here. You know what I mean? Get that shit the fuck out of here, yo. That's why you got knocked the fuck out. You feel me? That's why you got fucked up in the ribs. Coming with them ugly ass wild hands. That shit is not going to work to a true champion in that ring. You feel me? And that's what Tyson Fury showed the world what a true champion is. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole lot of different elements to the game he bought in that ring on Sunday night. Not just one right hand. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I love boxing, as y'all can tell. You know what I'm saying? I can talk on and on about it. You feel me? If y'all want to talk boxing, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up Facebook, Messenger. Anybody, all y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'd be more than happy to talk some boxing with you. You feel me? Uh, um, Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? But that's my take on it, you know what I mean? Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, fight part two. You know what I'm saying? Definitely went down. I was definitely glad to see it. It was definitely good for boxing. People need to see that, you know what I'm saying, without a doubt. Um, But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? That's going to wrap up episode 14. You feel me? Shout out to all y'all that's fucking with me. Shout out to my subscribers, new subscribers. What's up? Old subscribers, I fuck with y'all. New subscribers, I fuck with y'all. 
You know what I'm saying? Tell y'all friends about the shit. If y'all like know people that like boxing, send them this episode. You feel me? Tell them. Let them know. Let me know what they think. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's talk boxing. You feel me? I love it. I love it. I love MMA fighting. Um, speaking of MMA, John Jones. That's another one. You know what I'm saying? John Jones fought Dominique Reyes. Uh, I don't know how John Jones looked. Uh, to me, John Jones ain't really as the aggressor anymore. I think he's getting old. Um, but he has definitely IQ. You know what I'm saying? His IQ is through the roof. He's kind of like a Floyd Mayweather. You're not really going to see a knockout or a tap out. You're going to see your five rounds of just a man in his head in the fight, technical, you know what I mean, bing, bing, getting points, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, we'll see. Um, people is getting close, you know, inch by inch. People are getting closer. Uh, so we'll see, though. We'll see how he remains a champion. You know what I mean? That's what it's all about. It's all about going through fighters, going through different styles, going through different people. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's how you remain a champ. You know what I mean? And learning how to adapt in that ring, in your ring setting. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, that's my take, though. You know what I'm saying? Definitely tune in, though. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with me. Fuck with Times Podcast. Send this out to everybody. Share this. You know what I mean? Hell yeah, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment on it, you feel me? Let me know what y'all think. Fuck with me though, you know what I mean? Times Podcast, episode 14, fuck with y'all.